Hello YouTube and welcome. In this video we're going to start learning JUnit. We're gonna take it slow. In this video we're gonna cover the basic stuff and then we're gonna move on to more advanced things like uh, parameters testing which is good for data-driven testing and then we're gonna create some retry logic for when you don't want to fail something just yet. Uh, you want to retry it once or twice or how, uh, however many times you want. I'll also show you how to create test suits and test primers and how to execute uh, either one of those. And then we're going to also create some global rules uh, that we can reuse in each one of our test suits. So let's start with the basics though. I have my IntelliJ open here. I'm going to click create new project. I'm going to pick Gradle, Java, click next, give ID to my project. Call it JUnit Demo, click Next. I'm going to use this guys over here, click Next, accept the defaults. Wait for my project to be created. Gradle is working here really hard. All right, looks like it's done. Let's see what it did. It looks like it created my project, yay. Okay, we're going to go to build.gradle and we're going to change this test compile to compile. And then we're also going to change this stuff over here for readability. Like that. And remove this. Okay. Gradle should recompile real quick. And there it goes. We're going to go to source, main, Java. And we're going to uh, right click on Java. And we're going to say create new Java class. And we're going to name this Java class test suit 1. In this test suit, we're going to create a test. The question is, how do we create a test? Well, JUnit uh, provides us with test annotation that we can use, and then we can we need to create public void uh, method. And JUnit now knows that this is a test. Remember that your method needs to be public void. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So let's do uh, some, let's write some code inside this test, which is going to uh, print something to the console. Let's say I am test one. Woohoo! And let's run this. And test passes, saying I am test one. Now, what if you are testing something and you need to? execute certain things before each test. For example, maybe you need to put a debug file in and then remove it. And you, you, ha you have to do it before each test and so you put the debug file before you run the test and then you remove the debug file after you finish running the test. So let's do that real quick. Let's create a method that's called before. <clears throat> and this has to be public void as well. I'm going to call it before. And we're going to print something out. Say I am before method. And then let's create another method that's going to run after. And change this to after. And let's import this. Change this to after. And this one as well. So now when we run our test, let's see what happens. So we have our before method running first, then we have our after method running once the test is finished. Now what if we have, remember like I said, this <coughs> methods, they will run before each test. So if we have two tests, they will run before each one. See? When we executed test 1, those methods ran. When we executed test 2, those methods ran as well. <clears throat> now this is good if the use case is what I have described is. But what if you need to run something once? You only want to run it once and then you want to run your tests after that. You don't want to run you know, something before each test. Well, you can do that as well. 
JUnit has annotation that's called before class. And basically what that's going to do is going to run this method only once when you start your test suit. So let's create the method. And this one has to be public static void. And we're going to call it before class. And we're also going to do a sys outprint of something. Let's say I am before class method. All right. And you can do the same thing for after class. We're going to use JUnit annotation for after class. We're going to change this to after class and we're going to change the text here to after class as well. <clears throat> now, when we run this guy, see what happens. Um, and you see I am before class on the bottom here, but this is actually a bug with IntelliJ. This should be on the top, but that's the way it works with IntelliJ. It puts this thing on the bottom, but it actually does run first. Just want to get that out of the way. This does run first. So we have I am before class method running first. Then we have our test one running with the before and after methods, and then same thing with the test two, and then we finish up with I am after class method that on, um, only runs once as well. So this is the very basic annotations for JUnit. In the next video, we're going to work on test suits. We actually have created one test suit already. And in the next video, we're going to create more test suits and we're going to create some test primers, which is just a collection of uh, test suits, and then we're going to run them. And I'm basically, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.